Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs, and today I'm bringing you guys the 3D text pack I told you guys I would I would give to you guys if for a 4K special. But don't worry, this is not it. I'm gonna be also doing a, a background or intro template as well as some as, as some really good in-depth tutorials on how to make a YouTube background and intro very professional and nice. But yeah, here's the 3D text pack for all you people who don't have uh, Cinema 4D or you simply can't make good text in it. So as you can see here, I this is this is like real 3D. Um, each letter is on a different layer, and it's all different colors. Just to show you guys, you guys can make it any color you want, and there's multiple fonts for you guys to choose from. And like it's just it's just a great pack all around. Way better than last time if you guys downloaded that. Because last time they had a they had a glare on them, which didn't really make it look too nice. But this time I made sure they were all nice HD. These are all like 1080p quality. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. So what we have is we have these six fonts right here. Back in USA, I'm not. I don't know if I'm saying these right, by the way. So correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Batman Forever, Beast Machine, Big Mac, Last Last Ninja, and Raise One. So now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of this. So this one is a Russian type font. I really liked it just because it was like something different eh, than all the fonts that you usually see, but it's still a nice font to use, and you could do a lot with it. So yeah, that's that. Um, basically, then we have Batman Forever. You guys have probably seen this everywhere. It's a pretty commonly used font. I personally don't like this, but a lot of people do. So you know, it's your choice, depending uh, on your on your likes and dislikes. And also, I did include uh, the numbers from zero to nine, so so you can make any number basically, and obviously from A to Z, the alphabet for you guys so you could spell your name and with the number however you like then we have beast machine I made these all gray and I'll show you in a second why so we have beast machine this one is a very nice font really nice quality again like them all big Mac uh, this is the one you saw uh, just a second ago on Photoshop and this is the one I have on my current background right now and here we have last ninja it's a very nice font um it's kinda like Chinese-ish looking, I guess, in a way. You know, I I just thought I'd include uh, kind of uh, some different styles and types of fonts just so they're not, like, all the same. And I personally, th this font would be good depending on what your name is. I guess if you had a name like Ninja or something, it kind of goes with the whole, like, the whole look and feeling to it. But, yeah. And then I added in this... A this uh it is graffiti looking font. It's it's very abstract and stuff. Has a lot of like added on stuff to it. And and I personally think it it's a pretty good font, but a lot of people use it and I did have this on one of my backgrounds previously, but not uh not on the current one. But yeah, it's pretty nice font. Uh it it looks good on on like a urban type uh background and yeah. And this again includes all the all the numbers and uh and every letter of the alphabet. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh and that's about it. So basically now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it because a lot of people don't really understand uh the whole like three D text pack type thing. So I'm just gonna delete all the layers. So here we just have a nice background. So basically okay, let's go back and let's choose the font. I'm gonna go with the back in USA or however it's said. So now, um, what you can do is you could select each one separately. But what I like to do is is if you hold down uh, Control, you can actually select all the different letters of the alphabet. So I'm just gonna spell out dope so for you guys. So I would click on D, and as you can see, it's highlighted. And then I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna scroll down, find the O. And then I'm gonna hold Control, click it. And then here's the piece. I'm hold control, click that. So now I got D O P E. What what D O P? And now I need the E. So I'm hold control and click that. So as you can see, I have all. Oh oh, I just messed it up. Let me just do it quickly for you guys again. So as you can see, I have all four selected. Now if I just click open and give it a second, all four letters that I need are here now. So basically, what I like to do is just I just cut them bring them to my workspace and I just do that 
until I have all the oops that was something else <laughs> my bad uh so yeah you just want to cut them oops I went to the Big Mac ones you just want to cut each letter out by doing control X and then oh my god okay I might as well end this I don't even know what I was doing oh yeah this was actually uh, I was testing out a gradient or something and then I forgot about it or something like that but yeah either way and then right here is the D it's control X come over to your main workspace control V to paste it and now simply just go to your letters and I'll move my D right here next I got my O layer so I'm gonna move that right beside it um I got my P next so we'll put that there and then my E right here and as you can see it spells dope but you don't obviously want it stacked together like that so what I like to do is is if you hold down uh, control and then you press your arrow keys you can actually move it uh, I'm not well I'm not sure how much it moves it by but I'll just say like a millimeter and it moves it to the side as many times as you press it so what I like to do is simply line them all up like that and then just count it out and just go like one two three four five and then simply click on the P and go one okay and then you want to reline it up though because it got messed up and then go one two three four five and then simply line these up again then one two three four five and so basically there you got your 3d text it's all properly aligned and stuff now to change the color because obviously you don't want to leave it gray like that what you want to do is you want to double click on your layer to bring up your layer style uh, module then you want to click on color overlay and you want to send the blend mode and you want to set the blend mode to color and as you can see right there on the screen it makes it a nice red and it actually doesn't even look choppy or anything it looks like you just rendered it out in red and it's a very easy way to change a color and which is why I made them gray because let's just say I made that blue and then you made it red it, it would still look good it but it might change like the shade and then you know just like problems like that but yeah and then obviously you could play around with the opacity or you could just click here and make it whatever color you would like so you know like the like the possibilities are endless this is basically like you going in cinema 40 and rendering out the text yourself you can make it however you want you can like it's just like you can do whatever you want with it you can put on a YouTube background you can make a desktop background you can just make a picture an avatar whatever you like so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this it, um, and if you guys want a part two to this 3d text pack if you guys give this video let's say 30 likes since I get about around like 15 ratings on each one 15 to 20 ratings on each video likes and dislikes if you guys get this to 30 likes i will release uh, another 3d text pack which will include six brand new 3d fonts with the uh, with the letters of the alphabet and the nine and the numbers from zero to nine so you in case you guys have uh like your username with numbers or whatever so yeah, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and this does help you guys who don't have Cinema 4D or you're just not good at it. This has been Sunny. Peace out, guys. Right till the morning, we train.